Jessica have a $500,000 budget for a vintage home in Bloomington, Indiana. He wants something grand with lots of ornate details, but she would prefer something simple and rustic. The only thing I don't want to feel like is that we're living in a museum. That's what I want. So far, they've seen a rustic log cabin in nearby Morgantown that fit the bill for Jessica, and an ornate French Second Empire in Ellettsville that was right up Caleb's alley but had enough cracks to make the couple worried about its structural integrity. So now, their agent Jeff has come up with an option right here in Bloomington. We have a beautiful brick Dutch colonial. It was built in 1926, and Jessica, you're gonna like this. Uh, Dutch colonial is oftentimes referred to as a farmhouse, so it's very cozy and it's, it's very sweet inside. I mean, I wanna see why it's called a farmhouse. I love the brick with the limestone windowsill. It's not ornate, no sense, but it has a great curb appeal, so I'm excited to see the inside. So what's the price on this? It's at 575 It's a little over the budget. We've been on the market for a little bit. I think they would work with you on the price. It needs shutters. Put shutters on it. Wow. It is great. Big open area. Well, yeah, this is gorgeous, Jeff. I love the arch doorways and the woodwork, the stairwell. It's immaculate in terms of how it's preserved. It's not too late. It's simple. So this living room runs the entire length of the house. Yeah, it's definitely bigger than most living rooms, I think even modern living rooms. Of course, remember back in the day, you know, quite a, quite a bit of the furniture was probably larger in scale. Well, that's how As far as the hatches and cabinets, so. <laughs> One thing that I think is exceptionally interesting about this house is the electrical light fixturing. These were new features to homes in the 20s. Yeah, that's great. They're very cute little. That's pretty cool. How tall? That's how many did you get? That's right. Notice the French door, we have beveled glass that is still intact from the original structure and all. These beautiful windows are the original. And there's a really gorgeous built-in here. So this would be a fantastic office. This is probably your office. They pass through the dining room on their way to the kitchen. Oh, wow, yeah. It's a big kitchen. Yeah, isn't this fantastic? This is, now this is the kitchen that we've been looking for. I don't love the countertops, but we can worry about those later. Yeah. The appliances are the big it's thing. It's just it's, one thing, and the appliances They see a half bath off the kitchen and the backyard. Then they head upstairs to see four similarly sized bedrooms, but there's no master suite. And this is the room I would consider the master. You notice the glass doorknobs? These were very specific to houses built after World War I. There's a shortage of metal. It's kind of cool. I'm glad that's clear. Yeah. Not especially large. So is there only one bathroom on this level? There's one bathroom on this level. Oh, gosh. That's bright. Yeah. How am I supposed to shave in here? You're like a man. Oh, I think you'll be fine. I think it's cute. I'm gonna shave in the garage. This is an immaculate, beautiful house. It has an original features too, so we love that. And the style of this house, I think, is also good for both of us. It's you know, it's very stately, but it's not too extravagant. Yeah, I don't love the outside in terms of the, the ornate or grand entrance, but I do absolutely love the brick and the limestone. The kitchen's fantastic. So that's one thing. Yeah. several possibilities, their choice won't be easy. Since Jessica and Caleb each prefer very different styles, it may come down to which one of them is willing to give in. So it's a lot to think about. I know you'll have a lot of discussion about this, but let me know. We can think about this. I think it looks good at this. Check out Hunting Vintage Central for more classic homes, vintage